the age of owning a gun like to? And you want that uh, increase from 18 to 21 years old? Yes. Why do you want that? Because all of the shootings have been kids who have been the age under 21. Cal, a fifth grade student, was part of Washington, D.C.'s March for Our Lives rally over the weekend. He tells me he's afraid of going to school following the recent mass shootings. Because at, at any moment, someone can just walk in with a gun in my school. Since the mass shootings in Buffalo, New York and Uvalde, Texas, people across the country are calling on Congress for gun reform legislation. Four years ago, nothing on the federal level has changed. Uh, it broke my heart. Uh, with this in Uvalde and I wanted to come out and raise my voice again and it's the only thing I can do besides besides vote. Over the weekend, a bipartisan group of senators, including Senator Pat Toomey, announced they've reached a deal. Here's what they came up with. Funding to help states to pass and implement crisis intervention orders like red flag laws that will temporarily take away guns from people who are deemed a threat to themselves or others. Billions for mental health and school safety funding. Someone who is convicted of domestic abuse cannot buy a gun, making gun trafficking and straw purchasing illegal, enhanced background checks for people younger than 21 years old who want to buy a gun, including a short pause to conduct the check, and clarifying the laws on who needs to be registered as a licensed gun dealer. While many members and activists say this framework is a good first step, it falls short on legislation other supporters wanted, like a ban on semi-automatic assault rifles. Let's try something. Something is better than nothing. At the Capitol, Rachel Knapp, reporting.